How you doing there? So I was watching the Bernie Sanders rally. Saw that? Bernie Sanders did a, uh, a big, uh, big, big town hall meeting. Town hall with Elizabeth Warren. Oh boy, we're going to have some fun. And Michael Moore and some other civil rights guy. So are you still a Bernie bro? That's what I want to know. See, when I when I watch this, here's the here's the deal. Like I I don't know I don't know the answer to the question that I'm I'm trying to propose right now, which is in that in that town hall as you watch it. I'll put the link below. You can watch it yourself. It's about an hour, a little more than an hour. Bernie Sanders is saying the same thing he said in 2016. He's putting his finger on the grotesque levels of income inequality in this country. He's pointing to, he loves the example of the Koch brothers. There's other examples. The Rothschilds, is, you know, this, as Michael Moore pointed out, that a lot of them are on the Democratic side of the fence. You know, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Warren Buffett. You know, these guys got billions and billions of dollars. What are they, you know, what are they doing for income and wealth inequality. Nothing. They're not doing anything, right? So, what is the well, look? The, the, again, the numbers that they were thrown out are staggering. That sixty percent of the country is living in object poverty. That that um, somebody made an example that if if like half the country, if for example one of your relatives dies in a state in a neighboring state or somewhere not driving distance that you wouldn't even have the, the 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 plane fare to get there and pay your last respects i mean that's how that's how that's how little people have today in america now what's the what's the reason you know what's the reason it's not it you could look you could put your finger on it all you want but until you call the the if you until you call out the guilty party bernie I'm not a Bernie bro anymore. <laughs> Until you call out the guilty party, it's the, it's the, it's the ruling elite that pay off the politicians to change the laws in their favor, to evade the tax so that the money doesn't trickle down. They're doing very well, but the the illusion that somehow trade unions are going to come together and and they're going to stop the oligarchy. No, what the, what the trade unions will do is. They'll stop it for a minute, and then the oligarchy will go to the politicians, whip up a new batch of rules and laws that prevent that sort of uprising from happening again. Right? That's what they do. That's what they do over and over and over again. So, so Mr. Sanders, if you know Senator Sanders, we love you to death, but if you're going to propose change, you must see the tail. That's a cattail. That's a sign. That's a sign. Oh, oh, my name is Marcus Conti, and I'm the cat. <laughs> the cats are all over the house. But Mr. Sanders, you have to, you have to, um, you have to address the level of corruption. You cannot allow elections to be stolen, uh, to be rigged, the machines rigged. That when the politicians and the the the, the handlers at these locations are caught doing it, there's no consequence. You can't turn a blind eye to that, right? Look, even Gandhi, right? Even you've been compared, you know, Senator Sanders has been compared to to the Gandhi of our time, but but even Gandhi called out corruption. Even Gandhi said enough. Right? This is you know, Bernie Sanders is on, on TV. He's pointing out you know, he's still, you know, running with the Russian narrative. Russia, he knows if, if, if anybody else on earth knows who stole the Democratic primary from him, it's himself. It's Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders knows that the, the Clinton campaign conspired against him, that, that this has been going on for forever, the, the, the corruption within the Democratic Party. I did watch it, and, and I did. It reminded me once again what the fight is really about, and it is income inequality. There is no reason in this country that we shouldn't have 
you know, universal health care, a health care system where anybody could walk in and get their basic, you know, health um, uh, issues addressed by a, med by a medical team, right? There's no reason for that. There's no reason why colleges uh, have to be, you know, have to create a, a you know, a, a burden, a debt on, on uh, students for the rest of their lives. There's no reason for that. There should be free college tuition for all. You could still, you know, rich, rich guy, rich, you know, rich fuck. You could still go to a private school and and spend a lot of money in, elite, you know, at an elitist school. But the rest of us, city and state universities, should be should be free. You know, a living wage. You know, of course, you have to elevate the the, the living wage. That in effect, the living wage, raising the minimum wage in itself is is not going to be enough which we keep going a little further, you have to get the money out of politics. You have to hold people accountable for, for crimes against the people. When a politician gets elected and he betrays the, his constituents, right? When he's, when, he's, when he's taking money and voting against his constituents, right? That's bribery, right? He's not... He's not upholding the constitution that he that he agreed to there has to be consequences in that note all all congress and all senate should have term limits this should not be nancy pelosi's for 30 years and and these chuck schumer's all these people need to go right two years two years and you get to run again maybe you get four right at the max congressmen and the senators should not be in 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 office for more than four years right so, and you have to hold them accountable. If they're if they're caught cheating, you have to arrest them, right? If deep state is compromising them, then they'll have to turn around at some point and stand up. We have a deeply, deeply corrupt system that's affecting all all parts of government. It's destroying the the the, the court system. Court system doesn't work anymore for the people. The unions are, are decimated across the country. Right? So, you know, we love you to death, Bernie Sanders. You know, I, I enjoyed watching it, and I <laughs> I weeped when I, you know, I, I, I felt I felt his message again. You know, I felt it like I'm sure other people felt it. But you you can't you it's it's incredibly naive to think that that corporations and Wall Street and you know elected officials are going to are going to make the change to just suddenly corporations are suddenly going to start working on behalf of the people it doesn't work that way right it doesn't work that way if you know anything about Wall Street Wall Street is all about profit they they very rarely break the law as people think they're all a bunch of outlaws and they break the law no they pay off the politicians to change the law so that what they're doing becomes legal. That's something that is is beyond the, the realm of understanding for most people. You know, and the other the, the other fact is that the millions and trillions and billions of dollars that are generated through corporations are never they never see the real economy. They go into this little box for the for the one, you know, top two or three or five percent of the population the other 95 percent the game is rigged that any profits continue to go to the upper class they continue to go to this very exclusive group of people and the rules are constantly changing the only way you can make more is to work more and to weaken your life force and 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 see your life fly by doing working 80 hours a week then you still don't have enough to to live a, a happy, joyous, and free life, right? You know, if all you want is money and all you all you care about is 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 money, those look, those people are not going to go away. That's greed, you know. But not everyone wants that. Not everyone wants more and more money. Some people, you know, want time. You know, they want their time. They want their time to 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 explore the arts, explore nature. Maybe stay home and play with your cat. Look. Hello, little cat. You want to stay home? <laughs> right. Not everyone. We're not all created equal in that in that respect. And um, so I did watch, and it leads into you know the I saw. I'll, I'll end on this. I I ran into that guy uh, Max Rose, 
the guy running the Democratic candidate running for uh, Congress, he's running for the Democratic uh, slot against the Republican in this congressional district in Brooklyn, right? So I, I had interviewed him like a few weeks ago. And and yesterday I was down in the subway and I saw him again, right? And I and when when his handler saw me, he kind of like pulled him out of the way to to to, to try to avoid <laughs> coming in contact with me, right? <laughs> so so I so I screamed out, "Hey, Max!" And he turned around and we had a nice little discussion. We had a nice little conversation, you know. And I I gave him a bit of you know I gave him a bit of told him some of the things some of the things that I just said to you, you know. I told to him, and I, I said, "Look, what, are you the are you the establishment pick? You know, did the Democrats pick you? I, I'll, you know, we were off the record, but I, I won't I won't tell you his responses. But if he wants to, you know, I'm here for him. I offered him to, you know, interview again. But but I told him, you know, I said right to right to his face that, you know, in New York City alone, two hundred thousand people were purged off the rolls in New York during the Democratic primary against Bernie Sanders and, and Hillary Clinton and those you know and, and the, the Board of Elections admitted it those people were heavily favored they were all new new voters heavily favoring Bernie Sanders so they cheated and what is, what what did the Democrats led by crooked Hillary do right after that they claim victory Right? There's no consequence to the cheating, right? So why is so why is a guy like Max Rose running for Congress, right? It's all about how much money you you could tell who's gonna win the Democratic primary in New York for that Congress seat. Just look at look at see who raised the most money, who has the most money. That's all they care about. Oh, look, this guy somebody gave him two million dollars. Good. We'll put him in, in the slot and, and then, you know, we'll compromise him. All we'll have you know, and again, Max has that uh, intelligence, which is still very scary right now. Why do all these Democrats running, 54 Democrats in 44 congressional districts, all have intelligence backgrounds? That's a staggering number, and that's a scary fact. Why are the oligarchs promoting and pushing these guys to the forefront, right? Because you can't, you can't win without them. You can't win without the money, right? That's the system we live in right now, unless you're... Bernie Sanders, it goes to the people. So I went on a little too long. Um, I don't know. I guess the question is, you know, are you a Bernie bro? <laughs> are you still, do you, do you, do you, do you believe, do you believe in a, in a, in a, a fair and just system without calling out the criminals, without, you know, locking people up? I, I, I just don't see it. I don't see it as, as, I don't see it as possible. Thanks for letting me share.